I am Lieutenant Colonel Eric Smith, an F-35A instructor pilot. If you look back at some of the programs, like the X-1, that define how the Air Force got to where it is today, that's what really made me want to become a test pilot. The X-1 program broke the sound barrier. The barriers that we're breaking in today's flight test are more related to technology. The aircraft that the Air Force are flying currently and the ones that the F-35 are going to replace, those are typically thought of as fourth generation airplane. Fourth generation airplanes have a lot of systems. When they were designed, a lot of those systems didn't exist. What really makes the F-35 a fifth generation airplane is the combination of stealth, advanced avionics that includes data link, voice communications, messaging formats, and a multi-spectral integrated sensor suite. The helmet and the airplane have sensors in them so that it tracks the location of the helmet and which direction the helmet is pointed so that when I look through the skin of the airplane, I see what is underneath the jet. I can see things now that I was unable to see before without maneuvering my airplane. The F-35 takes the most powerful processing and computing power available today and puts it on an airframe. There's no way for a single human being to process all the information that comes into an F-35. So the engineers have done a great job at taking all that information, doing a lot of the thinking for the pilot, and then displaying it to the pilot so he can make those split-second decisions. The F-35 is amazing. Being involved in the F-35 program has been the most rewarding job that I've had in my 20-year Air Force career.